End of the story, right? No. The story keeps on going. It's ridiculous. So they go to America in this little tiny town in Massachusetts, and they have a baby named Bellatrix. Bellatrix? Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Helena Bonham Carter, the woman who plays Mrs. Lovett, she also plays Bellatrix in Harry Potter. So this author decided to name the child Bellatrix, obviously for that reason. So years pass. We find out that Toby has gone off to fight in the Civil War, and it turns out that he gets killed, which was really random and sad. And the author, I don't know why she killed off Toby, probably to be dramatic. And then this is where the story starts to get really weird. The daughter, Bellatrix, starts to act really dark and creepy. And what happens next is that she randomly starts to get suspicious of her parents' past. The thing is, an old cop from London comes into Sweeney's shop in the Massachusetts town wanting a shave, and he turns out to be the same cop who, le who arrested Mrs. Lovett all those years ago. So Sweeney brutally kills him, and then they decide to randomly move to California. And that's where Bellatrix puts two and two together. She tries to kill her mom, Sweeney stops her, and then she leaves saying, I'll never forgive you, and she leaves. So the final chapter of the story is from Bellatrix's perspective. I guess over the years she decided to go and forgive her family, but she couldn't find her family, and apparently they moved back to the old town where she grew up in, and she finds their grave sites and like gives her dad back her razor or something like that, and that's how the story ends. The story was really bad, and I really don't understand why it was so popular. It was bad. It was awful. It was the worst Sweeney Todd fanfic I ever read. I mean, I guess the grammar wasn't too bad, but you couldn't really judge it that much because of Mrs. Lovett's dialogue. The author was purposely spelling things wrong to make it sound like an accent. But, I don't know. It was just bad. I mean, it was an interesting idea, but the story was too long, too all over the place, and when it should have ended, it didn't, and so the ending it got was just bad. This fanfic was awful. I hated this fanfic with a passion. Oh my god, this fanfic was so bad. Why am I being so harsh about this fanfic? Do you really want to know why? I'm the one who wrote it. I'm the one who wrote it! I, the fanfic critic, wrote this fanfic! That's right. I am Todd666, and I wrote a bad fanfic. I am not perfect, people! Oh, I am not perfect! <laughs> Did someone just knock on my door? I better go check and see who it is! Maybe it's the Looney Asylum! Oh, Looney Bin, Looney Bin, that's where I belong to Looney Bin! Wait a minute. You're not from the loony bin. Who are you? Wait, what are you? Why do I always get the insane ones? Meh. Do you, by any chance, have anything to do with the fanfic critic lying on the floor? Actually, it more looks like a faint from having a romantic moment when they. Yeah! Oh! 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 Well, to put it simply, the fanfic critic reviewed her own story and, ha and bashed it. She then started to go crazy. There was a knock on the door and she opened up the door and some random bloke kissed her and then left. And then when I discovered her, the random bloke came back, and I think he was trying to hit on me too, and I chased him out of the house and chased him down the street. Unfortunately, I ruined my shirt because it was torrential downpouring and that shirt is white and it's see-through, so I had to change into something more suitable. So, um, if you're wondering how the fanfic critic is doing, I think that explains it. She's still a bit out from that kiss. 
Okay, so, um, that's all I can really say. She's the fanfic critic, she reads it, you listen. I need to find another place to live. Why am I leaving the room? Turn off the camera. Let's turn off the camera. Cheerio.